Good morning. What can you say? Thank you, Mrs. H. I think you need to go and train florists in a college somewhere. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Sunday Shave. Happy weekend to you. I hope you're in good health, good spirits and having good shaves. How's the week been for you? I hope it's been a good one. Um, always made better, of course, by a shave. Um, and I'm going to use, um, well, the razor of choice. I'm going to a vintage. Um, this is a gem micromatic single edge open comb. Um, probably a 1930s version, I think, judging by the Art Deco uh, design on it. Uh, gem micromatic, US, made in the USA, that's right. Twist the bottom. Simple as that. Now it says gem mi micromatic in there and I've got a choice of two blades to use in this shave. I could use the gem, gem stainless, or I can use this one, a pal. Now they could be the same, um, but uh, they come in these sort of cardboard sleeves here as you can see. Uh, so I'll load it so you can see it's a new blade. Uh, if you can take the cardboard off, just bear with me one minute. Just have a chat amongst yourselves, would you? There we go. Now, there's the blade. Blue blade. Hmm, interesting. So we'll see how that goes. Mr. Paint Scraper. There we go. Why I'm using it? Because I've not used one of them uh, for, I can't remember using a blue one. But anyway, I used them for a while. This type of razor or blade, there we go. And the good thing with the colour, you can see it standing out there. So, brush of choice is this uh, ball brush, Omega ball brush with a red base. Now then, you won't have seen this anywhere, I doubt. Um, or somebody will tell me if they have in a video, I mean. Look at that. That is my shaving bowl of the day. Now, the reason I'm using this, it is officially, it's a silicone spoon holder for a kitchen. You put your spoon on it, uh, you know, hot spoon on there, or utensils, whatever. It's silicone. It's meant for the kitchen. And the reason I'm using it in a video, I thought it was a fantastic idea. We went to a, a wedding in, um, must have, was it? Early or late last year, last year, I can't remember, time goes so quickly. A family wedding on Mrs. H's side. And her uncle George was there. And he told me about this. He said, I use this to lather up my shaving cream or soap. And he very kindly sent me one. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to lather it in front of you. And what are we using? Right, we're going to use a DR Harris shaving cream, Eucalyptus DR Harris. And it is a cream. And I'm using Eucalyptus because of the Eucalyptus in there. Just a bit of a... So I've soaked this for about 15 minutes. And we're just going to go straight to it. You can see. Yeah, that's a good thing, it'll drip down into the sink. So, see the notches? Well, so far, so good. I had an idea it would work because of the notches and the... But, um, what a fantastic idea. Now, what this means, why are you doing it? Well, just to prove, you don't need... If you're new to this way of shaving, or if you... You just don't want a shaving bowl, scuttle, whatever, if you're clumsy. This is <laughs> this is ideal. Make a good travel one as well. Because um, nobody guess. You might get a few strange looks in customs as they look through your thing and say, why are you taking a kitchen spoon holder? But um, it does the job. It's light. You can get different colours, I expect. But... Um, you don't have to have expensive shaving bowls, cream, scut uh, cream scuttles, 
this does the job so just make do like they used to the wall make do and mend use what you've got and as you can see you can't argue with that can you and actually it holds the cream <laughs> it does go on your fingers but it's not meant for this it's a fantastic idea I love it so thank you George Laurie's Uncle George lovely so we're going to use we've gathered enough there now okay I have come uh, not long out the shower and I've sort of rinsed my face but we'll use what's on my fingers probably oh that's nice smell that eucalyptus just enough on that just on my fingers lovely cream lovely shaving cream right rinse hands we'll dip the brush in that water and we'll go to the face mm. Oh, here we go, here we go. She's been to choir practice. She knows you lot are here. So we're going to have a song. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce onto stage Alice. Alice? Who the. Right. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Empty that. Rinse the razor. Wipe the lips and proceed with the Sunday shave. Clear the airways. There we go. And off we go. Single edge. My angle is there, roughly. Yeah, that's it. Hear that? Fantastic so far. As you can hear and see, hopefully. Right. Slicing through that growth. Now the thing you find with an SE razor, it is slightly thicker than a DE blade, I should say, an SE blade is thicker than a, a, a double-edged braid. God, I'll learn to speak in a minute. So what you find, it goes through the whiskers. Lovely, as you can see, there's no issues whatsoever. But there is more friction. There is more of a drag um, on it. But it's not uncomfortable. It's, you can just feel In aggression, it looks aggressive, and as I say, you can feel the blade, but it's not as we class today as an aggressive um, uh, Mule R41, I think like uh, or a Merco Future, but you can certainly feel the blade. Um, it is aggressive but not as aggressive um, as the aforementioned razors. But so that's my opinion, that's for me that is, you know. Other people might say, no, 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 no. And that's the beauty of wet shaving, because you, everybody's so different, they have different ideas, different techniques, and When they're as friendly as you are, um, my viewers, you know, fantastic people. You, I'm on about. Uh, they, people get to learn stuff and different techniques. And Mm. 
Now I think that growth is as much as this can take without it becoming painful in tugginess for you. Well, for me. That went through then, but on here, because there's much more growth on this bit here, slicing through it, but I could feel, just feel that sort of pull. Um, it might just be the PAL blade. I don't know, we'll have to try it with a gem. But I can't see them being a massive difference in the blades. Um, they're both more or less the same, so you're not going to, you know. But they can be different. But that's the first pass, not so bad. So there's no pain, but you can feel the, um, the pull, the tug, the friction, if you like. So back to our new shaving bowl. <laughs> this is the uh, modern shave bowl. But it's an idea, which I said thank you to George, I'd like to share it. Um, gives people ideas, so I've just gathered under the tap again, back to the face. Mm. Smell that, come on. Eucalyptus, lovely. Um, I always associate it with colds, coughs and menthol eucalyptus sweets. It's lovely. I'm trying to clean my nose and it's making it worse. <laughs> and also it's a good, because you place it down like that, your brush goes, fantastic idea. Um, maybe you've seen it, maybe you've, you use it. Uh, I have no idea, but uh, I thought it was a good idea. And I wanted to share it. So, across the growth now, for the uh, second pass. Across the growth, welcome back. After that pun. Oh. There's good audio feedback with these razors. I've used this razor before and uh, for some reason I don't remember it feeling as, as frictioned as that. It's better now because the first pass has gone, which is like a normal razor now, but I didn't remember any sort of just that pulling, that tugging. Um, heaviness before so it could be the blade I don't know however it is doing its job there's no issues there's no cuts there's no there's no um, irritation no razor burn I'm using a light touch as always as you can see there's no issues so for me that is a good shave Because remember when this was made. That's a good second pass. So we'll try now, just before we go to the third, let's give it a let's give the old slickness test with it. Oh yeah, good slickness, good soap. Dia Harris, eucalyptus, very nice. So we've got eucalyp eu pun. We've got eucalyptus. That's it. That's the well said. In there, eucalyptus here. So we're all matching. And uh, when we come back to pass three, which is against the growth, there's some good news for you on the old uh, homegrown front. So welcome back to pass number three. Just gather, there's just enough in there. Gather, enough in here. Back to the tap. I've started to have chilies appear on my chilli plant. In the conservatory. I'm thrilled to bits. I was a, 
slightly concerned because uh, uh, I had a few flowers dropping off, well a lot of flowers dropping off but they were growing back or growing new ones as fast as they were falling but uh, it grew very high, looked very strong and all of a sudden these little things started to appear and get slightly bigger, they're about that big at the moment so just very small but I'm chuffed, I would have been happy with just one just to try, say I've grown it myself, tasted it it's um, a scotch bonnet, quite a hot chilli so I can use it in cooking and stuff like that when I do curry or whatever um, so yeah, that's sort of it, the tomatoes keep churning out well, tomatoes and they're really nice so I'm glad I've done them one of my best, well, the best year for growing stuff. Really happy. So against the growth now. Using the Gem Micromatic Single Edged Razor, Open Comb. It is an aggressive razor, you can feel the blade. Um, it's, as I said, in case you've just joined us, it was, it's quite a thick blade compared to an, a double edged blade. There's no give in it and it feels slightly restricted going over the growth is more sort of a friction like a tugginess but not tugging it's going through but you can feel the resistance as you wouldn't feel with a double-edged if that makes sense um, but a lovely shave i can only imagine like i do with all these vintage old razors where they were bought, who owned them, what they did, what their lives were like. Um, if they could only talk. But it shaves really well, really nicely. See my angle? Just touching. Just touching the skin. Good audio feedback. Right, on about food, weren't we? With the homegrown produce. Well, pretty much, I'm going to put a bit more on here. Uh, good cream. What's for Sunday dinner? I hear some people cry. <laughs> well, it's going to be mashed, mashed potatoes. Um, Roast beef. Yeah, you can feel the friction there. Mashed potatoes, roast beef. Uh, I could do two ways. Uh, some people have horseradish sauce, mustard, no gravy. But I love my gravy, if you know me. I love gravy, so it's going to be roast beef, mashed potatoes, um, runner beans from the allotment of my colleague, again, and um, carrots. Have I got no carrots? Yeah, carrots. As my dinner lady in school used to say, "Eat your carrots, you'll see in the dark." And then when she walked off, she went straight into a doll. Fantastic for under the nose, I tell you. Right. 
wet. This is a slickness test. That's what I want there. Probably overdo it. Eh? But if I don't overdo it, nobody else will, will they? Pick up. <laughs> what time? What time is it? Thank you very much. <laughs> Pick up time. Gather a bit more. We'll go back to the tap. A bit more. We'll have it wet. Leave it wet like that. Leave it wet. Here we go. Hmm. Very satisfying. Very satisfying. Yeah, so I'm going to try this next time with a, a PAL blade, I think. Maybe on or off camera, I don't know, but... Uh, this hasn't been the best SE shave I've had, even though it's good, I've enjoyed it. There's, um, the blade has dragged a bit. But as I say, you can't expect it to behave like a modern day. Uh, that's lovely that modern day razor because you know this is more bulky more th it's a thicker blade and uh, you can guarantee these modern razors won't be around when one of these is unless someone buys a brand new one and keeps it Oh no, a bit more, just there, just there. That's it, lovely. And we'll rinse. Rinse. That's beautiful. Colours are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Aspel cider and scrumpy jack. I think I'll have scrumpy jack, yeah. Scrumpy jack, yeah, another. That's what we'll have. Scrumpy jack. Cider. Alright, <laughs> there he is. Still haven't oiled that hinge. Might get some feedback. But nothing. A stain. Would have thought I've had a, a bit of a kick from it. Was, no. That towel gives off little bits. You're sacked. Oh, smell that. Beautiful. Nice and refreshing. Now I'm going to use um, this stuff, Lucido. It's a, a Japanese aftershave and I was just smelling it earlier on and it's sort of medicated, it's menthol but there's a sort of similarity to eucalyptus in there. What do you think? You agree? Oh. But it's lovely stuff. stuff. Oh, smell that. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. Mm. Cannot beat it. In a glass bottle too. And then, when that goes off a bit, 
we're going to use this stuff which uh, we were out shopping one day Mrs H spotted this in Superdrug it's a B, B Men uh, post shave balm and it's got 8 in 1 12 hour moisturiser that smooths, protects, energises and controls shine clinically proven results so we'll see I'm going to use as much as I do normally I'm going to see what happens Well, there's not much scent to it, so that's good. I do like some cream scents, but I do like them when they haven't got much of a scent as well, because it means the the previous application of the aftershave or cologne I've used shines through, so I think the scent. Oh, that's blue. Wow, oh, beautiful. That's good cream, actually. That's very nice. Very nice. Right, so back over what we've used. We've used a vintage um, gem Micromatic Open Comb Razor, single edged, and you twist the bottom, and it's like a little blue blade, paint scraper. And this is a PAL blade, not a gem. Um, did the shave superbly, no issues. But during the shave, it was a bit draggy, a bit frictioned, um, cut through, but there was a bit of a, uh, a pull back there, which if it was any more, would have been quite painful, I should imagine. And it would have started tugging and jumping, and that's when it gets dangerous. And that's what happens usually when a blade is blunt or is not uh, good enough. But as you see, that was brand new, brand new blade. Um, but it did the job, did the job, 1930s I think it is, razor, and it done the job nicely, really nice. Um, that was the only thing I had, it was just that uh, friction bit, but no problem. And then we've used the Omega ball brush, the red handled one, which is just the same as the blue handled one over there. Now we've used this new idea from Laurie's Uncle George. Uh, it's a spoon, silicon spoon rest for the kitchen, but because of the uh, nobulation in the bottom there, uh, it's you know gives it's uh, just like a rubber if you like. Soap in there worked perfectly, absolutely amazingly, and it even holds as I said before. So when you've got it down, you can put your brush on there. Um, good stuff, good idea. So if you haven't got a shaving bowl. Have a look in the kitchen, but don't let your mother come to me complaining. I'm not telling you to take hers, you can buy your own. Right. <laughs> but a good idea. So thank you, George. Then we've used DR Harris Eucalyptus Shaving Cream. Superb. Easy to lather. Beautiful scent. Good protection, which I needed today. During the shave, good slickness and a lovely, uh, well, good result. Very nice. And then we rinsed off with water. We used the Thayer's Medicated or Super Hazel. Then we used the Japanese Lucido, which is a mentally, medic medically mm, tinge of eucalyptus. If you like. It reminded me of it anyway. So I used that. Lovely aftershave. Really like that. And then this one from Superdrug, which uh, Mrs. H spotted when we were shopping there one day. And then... Um, that is it, absolutely that. So you know what I'm having for dinner? Roast beef, mashed potatoes, carrots, runner beans and gravy and scrumpy jack. And that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you have some fantastic shaves and you stay in good health and um, stay happy in this mad world we live. Let, uh, let it be mad if it wants, but don't join in. Uh, let's get back to life as it should be you know respect peace and good shaving and uh, yeah lesson over for today have a great uh, <laughs> rest of sunday have a good start to next week and i'll see you for the midweek shave on wednesday so you take care of yourselves